the rumors were true. Apple added the M4 and M4 Pro to their new Mac Mini, and the Mac Mini got a pretty big redesign. Apple chose to say goodbye to USB-A ports and hello to USB-C ports and dongles. Here are my top four reasons to upgrade to a new Mac Mini. Number one, the RAM and price. The entry-level M4 version got an increase in RAM to 16 gigabytes. It's the same price at $599, so it's not cheaper, but they're giving you better value on what was already their best valued product, not to mention a brand new design. Number two, the redesign. Now, in an earlier video, I complained about how unneeded this redesign was, how I didn't want them to get rid of my beloved USB-A ports, but since this is the first redesign in 10 years, it is long overdue. The device really looks like a mini Mac Studio, except it's five inches wide, five inches long, two inches tall, and it's missing the SD card slot on the front. It has two USB-C ports on the front with speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, as well as an LED power light and headphone jack. The back has a port for power, ethernet jack, HDMI port, and three USB-C ports. Now speeds for those vary depending on if you get an M4 or M4 Pro version. Speaking of, number three, M4 and M4 Pro. The Mac Mini hadn't been upgraded to an M3 chip, so with this upgrade, it jumps two chip generations. The M4 chip has a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine. It starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth. Its three USB-C ports on the back are Thunderbolt 4, which means speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second. The M4 Pro chip has two options, and this entry-level model did get bumped up by $100 in price. It starts with a 12-core CPU, 16-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine option, or you can get a 14-core CPU, 20-core GPU. Both start with 24 gigabytes of RAM with 273 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth. And what about the ports on the back? Number four, Thunderbolt 5 on M4 Pro. The three USB-C ports on the back are Thunderbolt 5, which means speeds of up to 128 gigabits per second. That makes this the first Mac product with Thunderbolt 5. All the leaks said Thunderbolt 4 ports, so when I heard this, it completely blew me away. Now we should be getting a new MacBook Pro November 30th at 11 a.m. And I imagine that will get Thunderbolt 5 also, but for now, it's the first and only product with Thunderbolt 5. The M4 Mac Mini still starts at $599, and the M4 Pro version starts at $13.99. They're both available for pre-order today and will start shipping next Friday, November 8th. I'm long overdue for an upgrade and I'll begin the M4 Pro Mac Mini. Are you interested in a Mac Mini for yourself? Are you holding out to see what they bring to the MacBook Pro? Or are you happy with the device you already have? If you've made it this far and you're interested in a review or unboxing of this Mac Mini, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.